Hi, hello everyone, OPL here and um, today we have got a, um, a requested video, video by the Pokemon Mater um, and it's how do I make my sidebar for my white videos which wasn't very good because I didn't edit, edit it very well but I'll be able to do that next video so don't worry all you people the video will be up sometime this week um, anyway um, yeah okay let's go on to how to make it open up GIMP this is in GIMP by the way so and using Sony Vegas um, I always give a link on how to get these um, but it's hard to get Sony Vegas um, there will be a link in the description actually no there won't because I really can't remember how I got it um, but that's the only software that can do this so just search up find something on how to do it and yeah it'll be simple like that so that's what you're going to want to do like that look on how to do it and I need to go somewhere so I will be right back Oh yeah, we're back now, and um, um, yeah. So you're gonna wanna open up GIMP. There will be a link in the description for GIMP. Definitely GIMP. Um, so yeah, that that's the main part. Um, so you're just gonna click on New. I have a template for it's called Layout for me, but you can call it whatever you want. It needs to be these uh, this size, these sizes. Actually, what am I going on about? Y yeah, it does. It needs to be these sizes. These sizes. Or, I, I think, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to press OK. Then, it, you can uh, basically find a good background on how, like, any sort of thing you want. Um, I personally am going to go for hmm. oh make sure you can see it as well which that's always a big help being able to see it um so yeah that is you always kind of want to be able to see it um so yeah. So basically something like that. That looks pretty cool I think. Um yeah. So um you first oh yeah. Um make a make cut your colour as white for now. Um and this box here, and make a new layer. It, it's a good idea to call them names. Basically, this one's going to be called screen because it's where your screen will go. You are wherever you want to put it. I won't be using this, but this is just like an example. I'm not sure how to record two screens, so the one to ask for that is S Super Nintendo Gamma SNG because I don't know how to do that and just make your screen how you want to so about there then you go to your filling tool and fill in your box and you go to select shrink by one then hit the delete button not backspace delete um, then go to layer and auto crop layer that will add an edge um, then you click on your background and press edit uh, I mean select and then none and you should have this kind of good looking like, white border which you should be able to see and that's where your screen will go so yeah next we can make like badges um, 
So you make a new layer and call it uh, badges and you it's the same sort of procedure but you grab a square like this put rounded corners on uh, what's the full that's 100 only gonna bring it to 20 uh, and have it about like uh, that and then you just fill it do the um, same sort of procedure so I'll just speed through this now well yeah I'll just speed through this now So now we have um, made the badges case and yeah just sorry that that speed up was a bit um, faulty and stuff like so I really apologise. Uh, next we can add some like text to the badges. Um, then so yeah find a good font. For me I want F900. Because it's a beast. Um, badges. It could be any colour you want. Any colour. Make it the right size. Like that for me. Um, yeah. Um, you can change the colour. I'm not going to, um, it could be moved a bit, like blah, blah, blah. that, so yeah, and then the way to get rid of these things, you just, um, another way you can, for a good looking effect, tilt it, like that, so it's like a little bit slanted, and there you have a nice badges text. I think it's quite cool. Another way to make your screen even, you go onto screen and go onto your align tool, click on your screen and move it that way and up. So that means it will go into the top left corner. Um, you could do the same with the distribute if it wants to um, do what it needs to, even though I can't do it. Um, I'll just do it like that. Um, so then if we go into our background and click off that it will be more aligned um so yeah if you may have noticed because we put rounded edges on it will add like a rounded bit to your badge case you can also add a color inside of your badge case in this case i might do it um, black so let's go to our filling tool and fill it in black whoops whoa oh yeah that looks pretty cool I might keep that so apparently um, if you do that you can have a nice effect around the edge um, <laughs> yeah I didn't know that that's a good idea for future um, things like this so I merge those layers as well so that then no more editing so that is like a real good sort of thing already then we can go and add some stuff to the background so like say for example add some brushes I have a star brush and I have some good Pokemon sprites so if we put that up to say um, 3 it will be quite big and change the opacity of the brush to 50 And put that like that. Well, that isn't very good. Um, maybe not that big. Um, say about three. Oh, it was two. And put it about there. Um, I know the screen will go over it, but yeah. Oh, you. Oh, no, it's smaller. 
like that yeah that's cool I like that it will go over the tail a bit but that's still cool um, so you can add something like that to your background um, we will be going over that with the pokeball but yeah next you have to find a pokeball image off the internet um, do some editing to it to make the background transparent I've already done all of this stuff and I just took the long run to go into my pictures but who cares so there's my baby brother is not that old. Um. So. Okay. Just drag that on. Has that loaded? Nope. It has not. So hopefully that's loaded this time. Yes, it has. And um, we can go into um. Actually, um, switch it around. We're using the switch tool, drag it, and scale it. Could be doing a bit bigger. Um, keep that on linked. You want this an evenly sized Pokeball, so 200 by 200, and scale that. And these can go all along the bottom. It could be a bit too big, but. Um, you can change the opacity to um, 90. No, so a tad see for it. Um, make them go up. Um, yeah, and then you're gonna go to your move tool and press Shift, Control, and D to duplicate. And whoa! I didn't mean that. And that should usually duplicate the layer, but it doesn't want to work. Um, yeah, shift control do D. What's the matter with this? Multiplication program. Uh, okay, excuse my irrelevance. Stupid problem doesn't want to work for some random reason. Um, but easy fix, just right click, duplicate layer, um, click, hold shift, move it across. I won't fit six, but really, you don't need anything else. You could put across the bottom um, later. Um, one, two, and you could have another one there, three. The bit one there, four, five, six, yeah. You know what? I might just scale them a bit less than that because they're a bit big. So, um, let's bring it to about 140 by 140. Scale that. Remove it. Um, how what time are we on? 13. This will be a two-parted video. I don't think I have the relevance to be able to... We've nearly gone over 15 minutes, so... So, yeah. Um, so yeah, let's just do this. I'll speed it up properly now. So, see you guys in a minute. Okay. With that fixed, that's our Pokeballs done, and our Pokemon can go along those. Um, and here we could, like, say if we were doing well, let's just say we we're doing a fire red walkthrough for some random reason, um, and we wanted a Charizard. 
we could um make that a bit like there. Um um sort of tilt it. And put that there. And that would be a pretty good playlist image. It's not really the best that you'll ever see, but it's just something I might have whipped up quickly. So, yeah, then we can save it. Um, if you ever want to edit it, this so you can save it one way. Like, well, the first way you're just gonna call. I'll call this test. Do you want to put dot png? Hit enter and just do all the things. Don't edit anything. Wait for it to save. It could take a while um, because of it being a very big image. And then you're gonna file. Um, save as again and this time just call it test without putting anything on the end so uh, then you should see the XCF that means that means you can open it again and edit it so that's always good okay so that's the first part completed see you guys in the next episode